today I want to talk about a lens accessory called tab. These are focus tabs that you put on your lens barrel and theoretically help you achieve um, the type of control over a lens that, for example, you can do with a Leica camera, like the Leica Q. Because on the Leica Q, there's a little notch on that built-in lens for manual focusing. And if you've never tried a Leica few, uh, Q, here it is, uh, this is mine. And one of the things I really love about my Leica Q, my, minus the dust, it's been in storage for a couple of months, is that it has a very small notch underneath. And that notch has a little depressing button. Once you depress that button and you move it, that becomes a fully manual lens. If it's locked into place, then it's an automatic mode. It's a very ingenious way that, that Leica did it. And once you have that notch in the manual mode, uh, it's so easy to focus with this lens. And it's specifically made so that you can easily get a particular focus from uh, the minimum focus to infinity with just slight movements of your finger. Now there's a bit of resistance, more than I would really like on this lens, but it is smooth and it does in fact uh, focus really, really well with that little tab. And so what the company tab has done is created these two rubber or plastic or something uh, accessories for your lenses. Now here I have both a mini and a hefty the Mini comes in this container, as does the Hefty, is the same type of container. And it goes around a particular circumference size lens. So you have to go to, your, to their website and you have to see what circumference each particular type of tab, Mini, Hefty, or whatever the middle ground is, uh, will accept. And so once you, once you put this tab on your lens, you will get the same type of focusing ability as a Leica camera, or at least that's what they want you to believe. Now here I have the Hefty, and I really do like the Hefty for what it is. It's pretty strong. I mean, both the Mini and the Hefty are strong. You're not gonna be able to pull these apart by just brute force. If you wanted to cut them up, yeah, you could, you could very likely cut these and ruin them. But one thing that I really like about the Hefty more than I like about the Mini is that it's the notch itself. The notch is much bigger on the Hefty, wider that is, than it is on the Mini. It, uh, in height, I guess, as you're looking at it now, in the height it's the same, but it's the width. And why is that important? Because the width is how comfortable your finger is going to rest on the tab. Now, if you can tell the difference, you know, the Mini tab is not doesn't have a sharp uh, recessed tab on there, but it doesn't feel very comfortable. Here I have my Zeiss 21 millimeter uh, Nikon mount, fully manual. And I put one of my hefty tabs on here, on the barrel. And you know, I, I really like using the tab on this lens because it's got a, you know, a relatively short fo focus throw. Uh, and I can, when I'm doing videography or photography, it's very easy to find my focus with this thing. Now, without the tab, it's fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal if I don't have uh, the tab on there, but having the tab on there makes it a little bit easier for me to do. And so I can also get a much finer focus control with the tab than without the tab. But that's if I'm really asking and really trying to get very precise focus on something so you know I'm talking about millimeters or inches not feet it, it won't make a difference for uh, big distances uh, now is there a is there possibly an alternative to tap because tap costs 15 bucks about each so 15 bucks each yes kind of here is a seven artisan tab alternative and, and they call it a Sorry, the not in focus, but they call it a seven artisan focus wrench. I don't know why they call it a wrench. It's not a wrench. It's basically the notch taken off the tab and put some 3M adhesive tape on the back and call it a day. This is cheaper. 
This actually cost me, I think, about between four and seven dollars, which is not bad considering it's half the price of one tab. And all you do is you peel off this 3M tape and you attach it to the barrel of your lens wherever you want it to be, and now you got yourself kind of a cool tab thing. It's it works okay. You know, it all depends on the barrel. If it's a plastic barrel, it's, this is going to stick on a lot better. If it's a fully steel barrel like this Zeiss lens, it, it won't stay on very long because there's not much surface area on the 7 Artisan for it to stick because you're, you're constantly causing friction as you're moving the barrel with this thing. So it's going to wobble out of place and it very likely will just come undone. Uh, now, when comparing the the Seven Artisan to the tab itself, the original tab, I guess, the width, again, is big. It's a big difference. Now, there's a height difference and a width difference with the Seven Artisan. And I think the Seven Artisan is much more comfortable to use than the mini tab because my finger rests much more comfortably on the Seven Artisan. Once again, I'm confused why tab the company thought that it was a good idea to make a mini version of their product and also miniaturize the finger placement I, just because it goes from a hefty to a mini doesn't mean your finger shrinks who designed that? that that's ridiculous regardless that's what they decided to do and i think it's a big flaw <laughs> little big flaw in their mini tab now one thing i do want to point out and this is really critical is that there's some lenses upon which you should not put a tab. This, for example. This is my Super Tacomar 50mm Macro. I love this lens. This is such a sharp, buttery smooth macro lens. I love it for video work. And you know what? This thing doesn't need a tab. It doesn't need a tab because the Focus Barrel already has really great metal, tough, manly notches. You don't want to put any piece of plastic slash rubber around this thing. You don't need it. But the other thing that I really want to point out to you is that when you use a lens like the Super Tacomar, you're going to find out that the focus throw is extremely long. So here I go. Ready? We're going to go from one end of the barrel to the other. And it's still going. It's still going. Still going, still going, still going. And finally, we're at the end. That is a long focus throw, which is why I really love this lens. You can get really, really super close. You can move millimeters apart, and this thing will focus for you because you have that precision control. But it doesn't make sense to put a tab on there because the tab's function is for short focus throw nothing like this because you might as well just keep winding the barrel for something that throws focus as long as this particular lens does now that's not a knock on either the tab or this lens you just have to know the limitations of the particular product and in this case don't use the tab with a lens that has a long focus throw now what do i think of the tab itself i wish i hadn't bought it you know i spent 50 bucks buying four of these things and I had a lot of trouble getting the company to ship it to me, and I got it directly from TAB, the company. For two weeks, I did not get a response about my order. Nobody told me it was shipping. Nobody told me it was delayed. Nobody told me they confirmed it. Nothing. And I kept emailing them over and over and over again. I emailed them four times, and I finally got a response. And when I got this product, I was really underwhelmed. Because when I compared it to the 7 Artisan, which by the way, I received well before I received the tab, I thought, why did I spend $50? I could have been just as happy probably using the 7 Artisan. Now I wouldn't use the 7 Artisan on a lens like the Zeiss 21mm that I have here, because it wouldn't stick long enough. So the question is, the hefty tab that I have on my Zeiss, is that worth the price and the hassle that I went through? No. I think that I was focusing just fine without the tab. And with the tab, it doesn't really offer enough to justify the high price tag. 15 bucks for this piece of rubber, rubber or plastic, whatever it is. It doesn't really recreate the feeling that you have of 
using a Leica Q or a Leica lens that has already built in uh, one of these focus tabs because quite frankly in order to get that you're going to need something that's stable that's you know strong and is coupled with the lens so that the two work in conjunction for example for this Leica the tab is made for that lens to be used with that lens and when you use it in those combination it works out really well the tab however again I wish I hadn't bought it I really don't recommend it and I hope that if you're thinking about buying it you may give it another thought 